On today's video, on one of the best adventures we have ever had in South Mississippi, I also make one of the worst mistakes I have ever made while filming with a rattlesnake. Also guys, make sure you're subscribed. We do these videos every single week, and while you're at it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on this video. Now let's get on to the adventure. I've been trying to get up close with a Mississippi Diamondback for years now. In fact, I've probably put over 200 hours looking for one of these snakes. That just shows how uncommon they are on the edge of their range. Up until now, we've only seen them in Florida or dead on the road. But this is the first day of spring, and I'm feeling good about our chances. With great habitat in this sunny day, it didn't take too long for our first snake to pop up. Camera, get that? Woohoo! Well, man, I was just trying to film B-roll. Have a look at that garter snake. Man, these things are ass smelly. It's musking on me really, really badly. I tell you, what a snake! Look at him. What? Oh, I got my mouth. That is disgusting. But there we have it. That's an eastern garter snake. Now this actually isn't a staple animal of longleaf. You can find these generally anywhere. But uh, finding any snake in longleaf is actually always a good sign. Honestly, one or two snakes in a day here is pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now what's interesting about garter snakes, and I've mentioned this in the past, but they do actually have a mild neurotoxin in their saliva. That is definitely not something I was expecting to see under a log. What an absolutely gorgeous snake. That's why we check. That is why we check everything. Ah, this is... Nasty, you see that? Yeah, nasty, nasty. Little eastern garter snake, not a rare snake, and definitely not our target. But a nice addition to the day, he's got some really cool colors, and he is not happy with me, so we're gonna go ahead and put him back under his log, and keep looking for our main target, which is a true venomous snake, and North America's largest rattlesnake species, the diamondback. Well, that's off to a pretty good start. It's pretty clear that snakes are above ground today. Holy smokes! That's a pygmy. Oh my gosh. I have never found a pygmy rattlesnake in the state of Mississippi, and he's a baby. Look at how tiny that snake is. I actually have today a pygmy hook on me. This is my pygmy hook. I've used it in Florida because this is not good at picking them up. You might also need a stick. Gosh. These things make me so angry. I can't pick it up because it's venomous but they're so difficult to handle. That is one of the rarest snakes here in Mississippi. There's a lot of, honestly, all the snakes here in Mississippi are pretty rare, but a pygmy is not one you're gonna see often, especially one of this size. Now, pygmy rattlesnakes, like I said, they are the smallest rattlesnake, and there's lots of different subspecies. We've got the Western, we've got the Dusky, and we've got the Carolina. The Carolina is probably the most gorgeous, but the westerns are probably the hardest to track. I can touch his tail right there. Oh, wow. Now these snakes are n almost never lethal to people, but they can still send a pretty gnarly bite, put you in a lot of pain. A lot of people do go to the hospital over these snakes. In fact, this is one of the number one culprits of snake bites, venomous snake bites at least, in the state of Florida. Really, really gorgeous animal. Amazing rattlesnake species. They're a cisturus which is actually not a true rattlesnake species of Crotalus, literally is a mini rattled rattlesnake, which includes pygmies and masasaguas. Wow, well that is about as good as we're gonna get with this pygmy. He's totally simmered down. We're gonna go ahead and put him back on the ground and keep looking for our real target, a diamondback rattlesnake. Hopefully we see one today. Sometimes it just don't go that way, but hopefully we see one. Beautiful, beautiful animal. At this rate, I'm gonna find another black pine snake before I find a diamondback. By the way, I don't know if y'all knew that, but like, I don't think there's any other videos on YouTube of black pine snake with that many views. And I think that's the only wild one documented on YouTube, so thank you guys. I'm glad y'all enjoyed that. That was an awesome thing, and I'm probably not gonna be able to replicate it. I actually ended up spending 200 hours driving Mississippi with one dead on the road rattlesnake to show for it and like a mud snake and some other dead snakes. That's it. That is how harsh the climate has become when it comes to looking for snakes in Mississippi. 200 hours, can you believe that? 
I've been doing a lot better this year and the year prior, but whew, that's a lot of searching for no snake. With the massive success of finding one of Mississippi's rattlesnake species, I was already perfectly content with today. Snakes like this rarely pop up, especially more than one in a day. As I continued exploring, one of the other biologists in the area reached out to me, and he had some news for me. All right guys, well we just actually got a message. Somebody just found a diamondback. Uh, one of the other biologists actually just found a diamondback. I don't know what we're about to see. I, I think we're about to see our diamondback though, our Mississippi diamondback. Today has been already incredible with the pygmy rattlesnake. I mean, those are, that's just a super rare snake in South Mississippi. But if we can get both rattlesnake species in a day, even if I didn't find the diamondback, I'll be absolutely thrilled. Like this would be, incredible so I'm very very excited with the temperature heating up for the day I was thinking snake activity would soon slow down so I was absolutely thrilled to be in route to potentially our last snake of the day and our main target but not all snakes mind this heat one of the rarest sandhill snakes in the state absolutely loves these temperatures and it's a species that I've never seen in this region before that's a coach Oh my gosh, that is a gorgeous coach whip, Eastern coach. This is actually a pretty uncommon snake here in South Mississippi. One that a lot of people would mistake for a racer snake, but you can see a different in coloration. Kind of how it fades to a tan. They can actually vary a lot. Incredibly variable snake. They can be nippy. You kind of saw when I ran up to him, he just got ah, opened his mouth, but they're not as typically, you'll get some crazy ones, but typically they're not gonna be as bad as a racer and they chill out quick. And what they'll actually do is play dead. Not as dramatic as a hog nose or other species that play dead, but they do play dead very, very well. Now these things get massive. They occasionally get over seven feet, which is pretty uncommon. This one's probably three, three and a half feet. They're a long snake and they're built like a racer. Very, very similar to a racer. In fact, one question that I get a lot is actually with baby racer snakes. People will find like a little hatchling racer snake and they think it's a coach whip because it's got all that patterning. This is what an adult coach whip looks like. And a baby coach whip is mostly tan and has a lot of patterning. But this is honestly one of my favorite snakes here in Mississippi. They're not often seen because they live in this beautiful longleaf habitat, which is very difficult to find them in. It's got a couple of scabs on the scales there. They mostly eat lizards, but they'll also eat other snakes. These snakes have actually been known to eat bigger snakes, rattlesnakes, pine snakes. They'll eat other really gnarly snakes, which makes coach whips one of my favorites. This is probably one of my favorite snakes. Look at that face. They've just got such a cool face. Beautiful animal. Doesn't even look like it's from North America. Looks like it's from Australia or something. We're gonna go ahead and get this little guy off the road and keep looking for more. All right, see you little bud. That's up there is one of the rarest snakes in the state by far. That is absolutely insane. It didn't take us too long to get where the rattlesnake was. And hiking back where it was, I could actually hear the snake before I could even see it. And there she is. This was incredible. A beautiful live Mississippi Diamondback, probably about three and a half, maybe pushing four feet. This is the animal that I've been hoping to see for years. We started getting footage immediately and prepping to film. I was just in awe watching this thing and just enjoying being around it. But while we were getting some of the close-ups before filming, this snake decided it did not like us. So it did what any reasonable creature would do and dip. Well guys, in this little circle, there are a lot of burrows. That snake could literally be anywhere. First Mississippi Diamondback I've ever seen. Alive at least. <laughs> Don't laugh at that snake. <laughs> <laughs> you'll do you'll be fine it's okay now you might think but zach it's a three and a half maybe even four foot rattlesnake how on earth is that thing gonna sneak away we were standing in the middle of about seven burrows this snake was under our feet and there was nothing i could do about it no more shots no more filming no more watching the animal this snake was gone before i could even say a word about it that absolutely sucks well guys uh that rattlesnake is gone he is he is not going to be back that thing is down a hole beautiful snake absolutely incredible i'm glad we got some shots of it but 
you know, that is the bummer of trying to get shots of the animal before filming a segment. That is probably the biggest disappointment that I've ever had when it comes to losing is still gorgeous. Let me tell you, beautiful snake. I just, I wanted to get to talk to you guys about it more. I mean, understand diamondbacks in Mississippi are a heavily, heavily persecuted animal. Like everyone kills them on site and it's, I thought this <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never actively lost an animal like while filming and that's the first time and it happens to be the animal that I wanted to see the most I mean still an absolutely amazing day we got to see more snake than I really hope to see in Mississippi most of the time but uh, that that's just how it happens sometimes just how it be they say it don't but it do still a wonderful day even though it kind of is rough in here but really hope you guys enjoyed if you did check out the rattlesnake we filmed over in florida that one we got a full segment with so we'll see you guys next